his boys looked at him like he was their world, and now the world has just crashed because my cousin's not here anymore. A South Valley fiance and father killed in a Hanford hit and run crash, and police have identified those suspects now. The crash happened around 8.45 last night at the intersection of 11th and Hume Avenues. Three children were seriously injured, but all are still alive tonight. Well, the driver of the car that was hit died at the scene. Action News South Valley reporter Brian Johnson spoke to Raymond Romero Jr.'s family about who he was and who he'll never get the chance to meet. Police in Hanford are now looking for these three people, 21-year-old Abraham Chavez, 19-year-old Angel Castillo, and 18-year-old Zoe Barrios in connection with a Christmas Day hit and run that left Raymond Romero Jr. dead. Monique Avalos says her cousin was hardworking and humble. He and his fiance had two boys and their family was growing. That was discussed during a family Christmas get together in Corcoran on Monday. We were talking about his baby that was supposed to be coming um, next month and and we we're just joking around because he has two boys and he finally had his little girl. This was the last picture taken of Romero because as he and his family were driving home to Hanford, police say an SUV likely ran a red light and crashed into his white Chevy Impala. Avalos says her cousin was just blocks away from home. I drove by there and I seen my cousin's car all smashed. I seen his side all smashed in. And I knew it was my cousin that passed away. His car, his side was so smashed in that they had to cut the car apart to get him out. And I knew he didn't make it. I knew, I knew he didn't make it. The suspects, Chavez and Castillo, ran from the scene and Romero died there, while his little cousin and his two boys were life flighted to Fresno area hospitals. His pregnant fiance, who was sitting in the passenger seat, was brought to a Visalia hospital where she had an emergency C-section. Family members say she has neck fractures, but her baby girl is healthy, but she'll never get to meet her father. Family members say his sons adored him and will deeply miss him. The tragedy has his whole family hurting. We have to bury our loved one, and Christmas is never going to be the same because my cousin's gone. Never going to be the same. Family has set up a GoFundMe to help with funeral expenses. They'll also hold a candlelight vigil Tuesday night at 8 at the location where Romero died. In Hanford, Brian Johnson, ABC 30 Action News.